Summer Game Fest, here we come. Oh, it's starting. <laughs> Viewer discretion advice. Please welcome to the stage, the Ooh. creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. Yay, Jeff. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? Yeah, we are. Are we, we chat? We are so Woo! thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube Theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The that good is news true. is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world over the next two hours. Yay. Anime games? There is Spy Family game coming out at the end of this month. I want to play that. But let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures, which have disappointed all of us. Oh, of course. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. Two of them are considered, the you know, big company games, but the other eight Power. come from indie, mid-sized <laughs> teams or solo developers. Oh, I man, look at this lords. list. It's pretty cool, right? And I get oh, inspired that new ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and I will mean, break through. It's a reminder to so big much. companies that they have to Appreciate treat the developers you. right because today play, man, there Lords. are many paths to sustainability and success, and that's what makes this industry so, Hi, so Stride. great. Thank you guys for coming and watching Summer And you'll Summer see Game that Fest reflected in the show today because over the next two hours, We'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but also smaller titles, the alert including was a I few have my games made by now. single individuals and first-time creators that we invited to be part of this show because we think this platform is important as a way to show you new things that you might not even know about. So when you see a game that piques your interest, please wish list it, or even better, send it to a friend and get wish them list. excited. Yes, That's how wish we list. together I should have my the steam up community. while we do this, huh? And we are going to do that today over the next two hours as we have a lot of games to show you. I'm going to have this Day up the so I can directly wish after with even more indie titles. <laughs> so should we get to the games? games yeah! Thanks, Pete! All right. Hi, it all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. Here we go. First uh, announcement. Uh, this is, uh, Lego. I auditioning for the um, Zelda the Lego. An unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh sure, I get that a lot. But uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. This is cute. Mm -hmm. Rage. Empathy. Oh, hilarity. <laughs> this guy. Strength. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway. Lego Horizon. Ah. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Oh, cool. Hey, neat costume. I gotta get me if one they else. can do this for Ooh, them, they can do it for Zelda. I'm sorry, gotta go. This looks cool. Who is that? That hot dog guy is Aloy, an amazing video game lead. Oh. Thunderjaw went mad and is tearing through the valley. Don't worry, I'll bring it down. <laughs> this is gonna be Interesting. fun. Interesting. I can't remember the last time I played a Lego game. A lonely hero, hunting machine. All by herself. Wow, this looks cool. <laughs> uh, right, a friendly hero hunting with her pals. You love the actor that was doing the banana guy. <laughs> Exploring. Wow, what is this? Oh, this was rumored before, and it's a Horizon set already. I do remember that it's already a set. And making a home. What the heck? You can change the other outfits. Oh, the Thunderjaw's back. Oh 
right, the Thunderjaw. Ooh, that's a big one. All right, the Thunderjaw. Can't forget about this big old monster. Whoa, this looks fun. Oh, you want mustard on that? Oh, that the good. Huh. Horizon Adventures. Oh, it's on everything. Holiday. Oh, it's later this year. Wait, if, if Lego keeps doing this, maybe they can keep doing more games. That's cool. I like there it. There you go. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego Horizon Adventures. Yeah, coming it out is like later the movie. this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, lighthearted story inspired by the world of Horizon designed with two player action in mind, supporting oh, couch and online co op. Oh, All right, now we're going to completely shift the tone to the next game from Torn Banner Studios. Forget the developers Xbox. behind Chivalry 2. Know. For their next project, they are proud to announce No More Room in Hell 2 the sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight players start separate in the dark, and it's up to you to find your friends and survive with permadeath. Here is the first look. Permadeath? Oh, great. Hi, squirrel. I have my alerts paused, but hi. Co-op is a big part of LEGO. That makes sense. This looks scary. Wait. Ooh. This is a nope for me. <laughs> oh, it's zombies. Permadeath is a red flag for you. See? Eagle for a second. <laughs> what? Permit death. I would die right away. Eight player co op. Wow, that's a lot of people. It is replayable because there is permit death. Eight, eight people is a lot though. No more room in hell, too. Oh, but how are they gonna go to hell if there's no more room in hell? Coming this Halloween looks really, really intense. Halloween. All right, to introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming it's a perfect someone Halloween known for game. over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter VI a few years ago, and of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Is this, well, this Joy? Year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Ah, Joy! How exciting! Freaking yay! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even David. more super fun trailers. That's my friend! So, let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. She looks great! Let's take a look. Look at her doing freaking hosting! As young witches and wizards. On a big we stage! All soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. Oh, it's Harry Potter! When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered. Do Am I, I gonna get canceled for playing this game? Quidditch star? To be Quidditch your game. Opponents? Okay. To keep your composure. Yes, hundred percent. Okay. Well, I will look to from chase apart. your dreams at any price. We to seek glory for your team. No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. Quidditch so champions. Do you have what it takes? Oh, just that. Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Let me check. I need to start writing down all these games. I, I want to write down the Lego game for sure. I think that game looks so much fun. I'm not sure about this. September 3rd, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Steam, and I think that's an Epic Games Store. That's Harry Potter Quidditch Champions launching worldwide on September 3rd. 
for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite, and he showed me this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Get ready Choo -choo to backstab Charles. race. Oh my god, that's the creepy train game! Of your friends in Cuff Bust. In what? Cuff Bust? Oh, whoa, this is definitely unique. What is this? This reminds me of like Among Us style. Oh! What the heck? Oh, goodness. So you're just trying to break out of prison? I'm guessing it's like some people are playing the security guards and some people are playing the um, koalas. Did y'all play Choo Choo Charles? <laughs> That game looks terrifying. Hi, assistant. What? Whoa. So, never mind. It's not like Among Us. This is like, um... I, I don't know. There's so many games like this. Well... Oh, this is cool. Is this VR, though? It feels like VR. Did he say VR? Why do they sound like gremlins? They kind of are, I guess. Gremlin koalas. Maybe. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> At that's least they're honest. One, right? <laughs> and remember, that's all made by one person. Congratulations, oh, Gavin. Okay. So glad to have that on stage. Wow. That's all always right. impressive. Next, one of this year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August ah, 30th Star Wars. from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games, the first open-world Star Wars game oh. where you live the life of a scoundrel. First open-world. On open Monday world. at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's Forward event, streaming as part of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game, just a small taste of what's to come. Okay. Are y'all looking forward to Star Wars? Star Wars! A friend needs a little something stolen. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Okay. I thought the... Okay. Okay. Say final quality game capture. It's not represent. Does not represent final quality game capture. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, new gameplay reveal. Oh, that's gonna be on the Ubisoft Forward, which is on Monday. I think I spotted cool. Lando there. So great. And by the that way, just noticing cool. everything we're showing you so far, I think is gonna be you know coming out uh, you know this year. Cuff Bus. I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool that there's stuff that we're gonna get to play in the next few months here. All right, well, moving back to smaller teams, a few me? weeks ago I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say, it is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, the creators of the game award winning game, Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's oh, your first ever look cool. at the gameplay. From Grease? Also, I did not know that's how you were supposed to pronounce that. I always thought it was Gris. Ooh, I already love the vibes. Ooh, the, ooh. Wait, have I seen this? I think I, didn't we see like a little? Yeah, maybe. Oh my God, this looks so cute. Ah! Ooh. Not ew. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, this game's gonna get sad, isn't it? I can feel it in my bones. I mean, it is the makers from 
Greece. So, <laughs> pre-ordering my tissues right now. I think that's a wise. This looks. I will play this. This looks cool. Oh no! Wait, this looks hard though. Is that hard? Oh, the dog is older, or the wolf is older. Wait, why is the wolf? A spirit now. Whoa. Oh no. Look how Aw. No. See, already emotional. I'm already emotional. Oh my god. Never. All right, let me Trust read me, that, that game is such a true work that of art, especially really some pretty. of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. Let and there's wish much more coming that. later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we've got oh, lots more for you. Interesting. All right, next, it's time for wish our listed. next game announcement. Okay, I wishlisted it. All right, next, let's begin. I love the flow Study of this so the far. Past, if you would define the future. Oh. Are architects of fate working in these walls of time? Let us all for death prepare, or on the last great journey fare. Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle. But let me first do some great thing that shall be told among men hereafter. Each of us shall endure this world's life until the end. It's a cool trailer. The way they did it. This is cool looking. What is... Shall not be lost. Is it like a city builder? Civ? Oh, Civ. Okay, that makes sense. Oh! Civ. Seven! <laughs> Sorry. Civ Seven! Coming 2025. There we go. Civ. Hello, that makes so much Summer sense. Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce that Civilization Seven is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. Nice. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment, but we also have to thank you, our incredible fans around the world, for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. You'll play it for a few we months. We can't wait to share more, <laughs> and we hope you'll join us later this summer for the full reveal of Civilization VII. Ooh. In the meantime, stay civilized. I do like Age of Empires. I haven't actually played a Civ game, though. Maybe I play Civ 7? That could be my first one. Wow. Monkey King? Black Myth Wukong? Man, those graphics look great. I'm assuming. What? That's where he hides his weapons? In his ear? <laughs> there it is. Black Moon. Huh. Chumanji? What? August 20th, 2024. Wow, that's very soon. <laughs> Oh, cool. You get a headband. That's a cool figure. And a wind chime. Oh, man. Look at all this stuff you get. Pre-order now. To receive the tri- yeah, I couldn't read that fast enough. Oh, that's on your birthday? The best VR game ever made. Asgard 
Guards Wrath 2. Okay. Hmm. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Stardust. But mankind was given more than it wished for. Not progress, but chaos. Every new height brings a terrible fall. And yet hope still glimmers. I know where y'all were looking. <laughs> Even in the depths of the <gasps> What is that? Like me flies. What the heck? A walking house? We die to live What's again. What's that thing? A little teddy bear? With a gun? Oh, wait, or is it an alpaca? <laughs> what is the that? The smallest creatures show the greatest resilience. Huh. Wherever we remain standing. We stand together. Once human, July 9th, 2024. Wow, that's really soon. I don't think I, I haven't heard of this game. Once human. Huh. Once human. Multiplayer open world survival game set in a strange of post apocalyptic, post -apocalyptic future. Interesting. Samsung. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. The numbers are endless. Space Marine. I will take you all with me. Brothers, we fight! Oh, <laughs> Space Marine. Oh, it's Space Marine 2. I haven't played those games. June 20th. What did that say? All right, June 20th? Welcome back to Summer Game Is that Fest. When it comes out? Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very excited to introduce our first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this October. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5. Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Wow. Persona. Metaphor. Fantasio. ありがとうございます。アトラスの橋野です。今日はあ、添島さんと一緒にこのステージに立てて Thank you everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino and I am the director of Metaphor. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejima. I understood all of that. Without him. アーキタイプという他のゲームでいうところのジョブですね。え、その姿に主人公たちが変身して this game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These archetypes allow you to fight against your enemies. Kylie's flexing? No, I only know introductions. I don't know anything they say now. <laughs> その総数は 40種類以上にも及び。archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes can gain experience and even evolve. Some of them can evolve into stronger versions. Cool. あの、メタファーはあの、新しいアルピージ、我々が作ってきたアルピージのノウハウを全てあの、結集させて作っています。とても大きなボリュームのゲームです。あの、今日はあの、このアーキタイプをテーマにした最新のトレーラーをお持
We oppress. <laughs> we fight. Wow. I like, I love it. I love it a when they have anime. Evil flows through scenes. this land. You have found a way to wield true magic. Protectors and followers will gather to your side. Remind people that the same powers lie dormant within them. On guard! You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. How's this? Scour! No holding back! Now you've acquired a most interesting power. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. Hmm. October 11th, 2024. Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, on stage. Thank you guys, and for that deep look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're going to jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. As Batman, Hello, you VR. face a new threat, the mysterious Rat King and his cultish devotees. Here's your first look at the story trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. Batman VR game? It's not working, Isabel? I'm not, I'm not sure. It should work. I wonder if it'll be as long as, oh, other personas? Oh, metaphor? Driving the city mad. Not sure. The only light left is from the fire in the streets. Casting shadows of rats on everything that was once good. Fear is their weapon. Do you think we'll ever get to a point in the, the future where everything's a VR game? Chat. Like, far in the future? The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. I don't see it How that happening anytime soon. To destroy him. It's kind of niche. You hope not. Fall 2024. The only problem I have with VR is I just get motion sick pretty easily. Um, that's the only reason. But if it's like a, if you're like standing still, like a Beat Saber kind of game. I feel like I'd play more. Oh, Joy! I feel like I'd play more if I didn't get motion sick. I am looking forward to heading back to the Arkhamverse. Now, it is time to update fans on a legendary fighting game I'm franchise. I'm so proud of her. And that includes me. Because I have been a fan of this series ever since one of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever since. So, let's check it out. She's so cute. Would the guy stop mowing? Stop! I've been mowing for hours. You don't hear that? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> we we're supposed to have flying cars. We don't even have self-driving cars yet. So. Back in my day, we used to play games with mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Ooh, Elena. Street Fighter. <laughs> Throw rocks at the people outside. Summer Game Fest is on. Stop. It's distracting me. That's why. Whoa. Mm. 
Join the fight in year two. Sorry, I don't play Street Fighter, so I just... Oh no. One year after the Dragon Meteor Invasion, the Scots Rebel. Whoa, what? Get him! Oh god! Ah! Tears of Metal. <laughs> Freedom! I know this art is... What is this? What is this art? Self shade, maybe? Self shade? Looks cool though. Oh my god, the graph. <laughs> what? This looks cool! Interest. Oh, so you send your armies. Okay. Can you handle the heat? Whoa. It's kind of like Dynasty. Uh, no, not Dynasty Warrior. Wait, right? The Moose Blue Moose Cell Games? Crap, I forgot how to. The genre. Muso, right? Right? Like Age of Calamity? Roguelike co op hack and slash. But this is co op. Hmm. Cool. Unique. <laughs> ah, Isabel, thank you. You did get it working. <gasps> Dragon Ball! We'll see. Dragon yes. Ball! Didn't y'all say you wanted anime anime games? Here you go. Dragon Ball. Another Dragon Ball fighting game. Oh my goodness. When I used to live in Canada, my friend was obsessed. Yeah obsessed with these Dragon Ball fighting games. I would sit there for like eight hours straight, or they would sit there for eight hours straight playing. I'm not, I'm not into fighting games, but I watched them for a little bit, not eight hours though. Dragon Ball! No matter what it takes, I need to rescue Gohan. Goku, wait! What? Akira-san would be so happy to see more Dragon Ball come to life. Toriyama. October 11th. Toriyama there you go, Internet. Isn't we got accurate. your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical Ops. shooter free available to play. to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer hey. FPS extraction. He spits stuff out faster than I can comprehend, Jeff. Team, rally this on. is free-to-play. We've got a new mission, Operation Lightning Strike. Lightning the Strike. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The Where's my cat cafe game? We have a core in Alsara <laughs> Guard. It's Darn time it. to take action. Objective. Collect and decode the mandel brick located at the tourist center at the southeast region. We need to utilize terrain for stealth. Wait, was there a sound DC? Execute swiftly and silently. We're in position. Do I need a refresh? Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. Next comma? Clean the balcony. On your mark. Go, go, go. Clear the area. Clear the area. I'm going in. My uncle and my dad used to play these style of games um, when I was younger. And it was always so funny watching both of them play. I don't know how they made these games kind of funny. It wasn't this game, that was like Rainbow Six, I think. That's Not all me, though. Brief. The drill is over. Let's see if it's Operation commences. still the same. Good luck. 
Global PC Alpha but Test in July. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. Here is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. Ridley, Ridley Scott movie? Oh, wow. He's made a lot of games. He made The Martian. Why are they burning tires? Hold on. Oh, Black Hawk Down oh, from 2001 movie? One Clear. Secure and capture a team in your cabinet. Over. Get down! Get down! You need to Hair fight! Enemy vehicles coming! on PC. Development build graph and gameplay features subject to change. And now, I have an update for you on Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. <laughs> for real this time. Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. Wow, he got older. <laughs> he had the same haircut, though. Cool. Oh, so you can play. Oh. You can. Literally wishlisting this now. Is this like brings back a lot of nostalgia for you, Jared? Oh, they played the wrong trailer earlier. Okay. They're okay. I get okay. That makes sense. Oh, wait, what? Er, early 2025, I think that's what it said. Oh, that was really fast. Cool. Fatal Fury. I'm watching all your Zelda plays on YouTube. Thanks, Isabel. Oh, the crowd in the theater let out a collective sigh when the Batman game was announced for VR. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> How do you know? Are they saying that on Twitter? Or did you hear it and I just, I didn't hear it. Sorry, Samsung, love you, but this is like the moment I can talk in between game announcements. <laughs> what was that, NC Presents? NC, NC Soft? Right. Little water bubble girl. Oh, someone's there tweeted it. Oh. Oh yeah, it was Isabel. Just like maybe a MOBA? Maybe? Did I know? No! I found out only like a couple hours ago when she or she or either Jeff Keighley announced it. I did not know Joy was gonna do this. So this is really cool. Urus. Okay, it is like a. Uh, looks like a uh, Pokemon Unite. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, never mind. This is different. What? The? No, never mind. Fun party game. Battle Crush. Early access June twenty-seven. Well, Gundam. I loved building Gundams on my stream. I'm not a collector or anything, but man, building Gundams is so fun. <laughs> and I also love 
Uh, well, there's only one Gundam anime that I watch. Um, oh god, what was it? Gundam C, I think? Uh, I can't remember. I remember Kira and the pink-headed girl. <laughs> Escaflone? Wait, did that show Esca? I'm searching. You need a pretty pink condom? Maybe you can customize them for you. Summer Close Beta, August, Mecca Break. Mecca Break. Cool. We're back here at Summer Thanks, Game Turtle. Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat. Oh, you're just with mentioning an old anime. Maneuvers. I was like, it's Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner it, have become synonymous <laughs> with incredible horror films over the years, Blumhouse. like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. Blumhouse. Oh, they're the ones that did Five Nights at Freddy's, Imaginary, and Megan. In Night Swim, Swim, the Black Phone. Ooh, this looks so creepy! Crystal Dark Theater. Oh no! Vengeance will take shape. Oh no! It's creepy dolls. Ooh! Oh wait, what? Oh, it's a farming game. It's like Stardew. You can can we date these people? What is going on? I cannot sleep. This is odd. I this is <laughs> I must not sleep. Wait, it's multiple games. Oh, it's multiple games. I'm okay. I'm like, no way is this all in one. And okay. Duh. Death to stay Wait. Awake. Sleep awake, eyes out. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect oh, you. Oh, it's like an opposite of cozy farming. Amy, I'll save you. No matter oh, what. this is a cool puzzle Just game. Go home. Ooh, what's scary though? Amy! What the heck? I need slow this local down. The police department asked me to help with a case. Why would they need a game designer? It should have some developer mode. Interesting. The game where you're the developer. Oh my god, there was a lot, a lot of confusion. I know. Project C. The future was meant to be broken. I want to see that farming to... game. <laughs> Scary farming game. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> no. Huh. Wow, that was a, they showed a lot there. I want to get more information. Did y'all catch the name of the farming game one? Here, I can look it up. Blumhouse Games. Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse. Oh, and there we Louise go. Maybe Blaine, he'll say more. Lead at Blumhouse Games. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. We'll, we'll just pay attention for right now. <laughs> Kill him. Hey guys, so we crashing. got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. Yeah. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, so really why you want to movie. get into games er, like this. Game. What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, you'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Don't worry. Anyway, horror is, uh, to my great relief, the movie getting or the more game? and more popular. Our movies Five are Nights working. Freddy, it's yes. working on streaming. It's working in live events. The movie. And okay. we wanted to try and take our approach to movies okay. and that apply it sense. to games. And that's what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can and put them into really <laughs> cool games. <laughs> well, they, they, look, okay. they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist, intense first-person shooters, 
Or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cosy farming scene. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different subgenres. <laughs> that is very explore. unique. I've never seen a farming sim like that. Partners, they feel the At same least, and they're right? just as excited, which means we've With got murder? psychological nightmares, we have supernatural scares, we have cosmic horror. And our team cosmic has worked really horror. hard to work with global, creative, talented partners. And that means for us that we really want to as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take risks, you know, we can be flexible, and really we can push the limits of what's possible in scary storytelling, and we're so excited. Yeah, no, ah, it, it there's looks, a lot of looks games awesome, there. all the stuff you have there, and I know, you know, we'll get into when games are coming out, but some of these are coming soon, Jason, right? We got a good slate. Well, of yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console, and, um, and uh, yeah, we wanted to start with uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So, uh, so you want to you want to tell us about those? Yeah. So, Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally into horror. And quickly, actually, Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev Showcase. So, stay tuned after the show. Directly after. Awesome. Well, I know this is just the start so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with Grave more from uh, Blumhouse Games but guys what do you think of the slate pretty amazing right what these guys are pulling off Jason Luis thanks so much for being here on Summer Games thank you guys all right and now yeah, here's the right. world premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with a retro feel Power Rangers retro arcade Power Rangers what whoa who watched Power Rangers when you were younger what what are, who are, okay. All right, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was always the pink Power Ranger. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the blue one was the best one? <laughs> You did? You watched you watched the first season? You watched the OG? My cousin, um, when I was younger, I was obviously obsessed with Power Rangers. And he'd always want to play Power Rangers with me. And the only time I would agree is if I was the big one. <laughs> That's a long time ago though. Ah! Cool. Wishlist now. There you go, guys. Go wishlist it. Oh no, this looks sad. Oh no. What is this, though? Sad games can be still really cool and fun to play. Oh no, Bambi. Lifeline Game Studio. Aw. They both are alone. Oh my god, he puts them in his backpack! <laughs> Wait, that's so cute! Aww... A journey of conquering your fears with friendship. Aww... This kind- this reminds me of like Little Nightmares style. Oh, I like this though. <laughs> Dear and boy. I'm gonna go 
wish list that. What a beautiful game, Deer and Boy, which comes from first time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him wow. realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that are why we do this show, giving first time developers a chance oh, to show you what they're working on. Wow, right, okay. Next, after a long yeah, wait, really Kingdom good. Come Deliverance 2 is arriving later this year. Kingdom this Come Deliverance. open world action RPG from Warhorse Studios. Here is a brand new look. Oh, okay. I loved, I like, I really enjoy Kingdom the Come Deliverance. It was so random men. and funny. Don't always come to fruition. It was like man proposes. Actually, I'll, I'll say it after. But God disposes, <laughs> and then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> These two young fellas, I need to find them. One's a smarter <laughs> smith. I'm trying to remember that bird sound that was in the first one. Blue <laughs> fledgling. I freaking love that. You behave like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? <laughs> Ow! Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. But in the end, we all wow. face your judgment for what we should have done, but lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss! God. <laughs> Reminds me of, like Monty Python. For my sins. <laughs> <laughs> to the task. Well. Yeah, I love the first one. I never finished it though. I only focused on the quests. Kind of like what I didn't fall out. <laughs> it does kind of give Witcher vibes. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchiro Toyama-san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo-based studio. Hmm. Okay. I think he's having some vision problems. <laughs> Whoa! What? Ew! What? What was? What? Oh! 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 oh. Okay. Not <laughs> one. Huh? Giant praying mantises. Oh my gosh! Ooh. Give me like parasite vibe. Is that the is this that Tokyo Cool game? Uh, it's called what do they call it? Slither or something? Maybe that was the name of the studio. Slitter, slitter head, slitter. Head. It does kind of give Tokyo cool vibes, so I can see why you would say that. Oh my goodness. Oh my go. Oh, just. <laughs> Let me just attach that back real quick. Oh, you can just hop from. Yeah, it is called Slitterhead. November? Oh wow, it's coming out this year. Hmm. Oh my god, what a difference. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh my god, Grand Theft Auto, but are these frogs? That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Chicken Kill Nuggets. <laughs> it's because I'm good at what I do. What? Really? <laughs> really? Attack of the Chicken Nuggets. Good. Oh, dunk. What the heck? I used to be the an chicken assassin nugget got in the skills. Shadow Agency. Which? An international organization. Please say this is multiplayer. We'll find out. Until they lie Their to outfit. me and try to kill me. <sighs> now, I'm gonna destroy them. Kind of like, kind of like a potato. <laughs> You're the guy star idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency. <laughs> well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die. Whoa. Oh God. What is going on? Wow! Break, dance, and move. The zombies? It's like Battlefield. The heck? They made me who I <laughs> what am. Is this game? And I will make them pay for it. Oh my god, jet skis. Killer bean. Oh, it's a bean! Early access, summer 2024. So it's just kind of funny. I like Glad it. you like that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person roguelike bean. shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously worked as an that? animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, so fun. It's amazing what can happen in this industry. All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Toa. It's those guys. Hello, Jeff, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new. So after Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Cairn, a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't come back. And I've always wondered, why do alpinists risk their lives in such extreme conditions? This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. How do you spell uh, that? Cairn is Kern? a game about what it takes to go beyond your limits. You climb a mountain to reach a summit never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. It's very intense and realistic. It's a face-off between you and the mountain. And what you're going to see in the trailer is not from cutscenes. It's the actual climbing gameplay. Okay, cool. You can see more later today during Day of the Devs, but now let's have a look. I haven't played any of their previous games. Haven, Fury. Stop, stop talking to me. <laughs> My phone's going off. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, yeah, they are completely different. What, Fury and Haven? Yeah, totally different. This looks so cool, though. This kind of reminds me of just song. Or, wait, maybe not. Cool. Oh. 
lots of screen cam. Hmm. The Stanley. I'm not meant to be here. I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena, in combat. <laughs> but instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods, running a tea shop. So, what does running a tea shop involve? Ooh. Well, tea shop? There's a lot of gardening. Gardening? And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. None of these tasks are all that hard. The music. They just patience. Zelda vibes. And I'm not really the patient type, but I'm surviving. The colors are very colorful. Of course, I have colorful. to actually serve the tea to our customers. And once that's done, I'll usually check in with Boro, the guy who owns the shop, to see if my help is needed anywhere. I'm gonna wish when all the game. chores are done, sometimes I'll just sit duck? on the bench and do absolutely nothing. Ah. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. And what's weird is that I actually feel good. I'm happy. I can stop running now. I can stop. I can stop. I can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Huh? Hmm. Not so cozy after all. <laughs> Maybe. Wonder stop. Interesting. Coming in 2024. That was Wonderstop, Wait, the announcement of the next game from Davey Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. Oh, I sense there's a twist coming, as you would expect from him and Ivy Road. Cannot wait right. to play that. I'll just keep it All up right, here. now here's a look at the story trailer cool. for Unknown 9 Awakening, a narrative action adventure game that tells the story of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. His voice is not connecting. It's okay. Mind racing Turn your and thoughts meeting inward peace. and focus on your shade. Feel that do too. you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The unknown nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. I should Remember refresh? Stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. This looks really cool. Oh. No nine awakening. The fold is a strange place. Vincent found something down there. Session. Cool. Fall 2024. Interesting. Hey! How about we see the world together? I finally have something. I can't something tell if it's still desync though, because oh, it kind of fixed itself when I was Adventure Star. leaving it alone. Monster Hunter Stories! Oh, Capcom. Oh, up to 75% off. Hunter, Monster Hunter Rise, 67% off. Interesting. Hi, Gray! Thank you! Street Fighter, 50% off. Wow, lots of discounts. Safe house. We're already an hour into this. We still have an hour left. Ah, delusion taken form walks into my great hall. Legend. 
Troria, the last song. Hmm. September 19th? That looks awesome. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, oh, Xbox, and I love you, and Joy, Steam. but hold on. Wishlist it now my and prepare for the release distinct. on July 2nd. Okay. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game, Among Us, took the world by storm and a couple of game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. Why did my, why did my audio get desynced? I haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, gamers? Yeah! yeah. Oh, this is a you, Twitch issue? Can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperone. <laughs> like, I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, all right. Well, turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, there's been so many great indie games in recent years, but it's also been a sec no secret that it's kind of a rough time in the industry. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth. Outer an indie Sloth. game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. Aww. 
this is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play I know, them, the freaking lust. Which was the real plan. I, I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. Aww. And don't worry, what Jeff, good. it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet! Thanks. <laughs> oh, I love this. Hi, I'm Ian from ShapeShot. Ian and may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. This game was so difficult. <laughs> we are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, Battle Suit Aces. We are Studio Any Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. This girl needs to be a voice Hi, actor. I love like her bunches. voice. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Cool. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action roguelike, where you'll have to customize and master your starfighter, take on merciless armadas, and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors and Falcon. We played that. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Oh, cool. Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. They did this though. How awesome. That's a lot. Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? Is it Outer Sloth or Inner Sounds Sloth? Sounds like you did. Yes, there's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. Oh, what? There's. I didn't realize. Oh, it is Inner Sloth. Oh, Outer Sloth is what it's called. It, right, I get it now. <laughs> I didn't realize they were making a TV show. What the heck? <laughs> Reminds me of like Futurama. <laughs> drinking wine. We're not fit. Ashley Johnson? Elijah Wood? Wait, I need to see that list again. Wait, I think I did know about Up this TV next, show. we have Sonic X Shadow Generations. What? <laughs> A definitive greatest hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. Cool. I wanted to get that list of all the Among Us people, but I'll look later. I couldn't read all the names fast enough. Get hype, chat. Games like this. Where am I going? 
I do like the coin collecting sound. Is the Xbox Game Showcase this Sunday? Yes. I think it's at 11 or 12, something around there. You sent me the names? The Year of Shadow, right? A movie coming in December, too. Exciting stuff. All right. In the upcoming online survival game, Dune Awakening from Funcom, there is one small decision that unleashed a chain of events which set the stage for the story the player will experience. Ah, Dune Let's MMO. Let's find out for the first time what that oh. is. The only peace I find is a future that never This is your big game work. Are you excited? Dune. I fi we finally watched Dune Part 2. One where I, Paul Atreides, was never born. Wow, Paul Atreides, you you became I created the future. Manly than Timothy Until me. <laughs> it created me. <laughs> but I see a narrow way. A path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Huh. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen... exterminated. Wow. No. Muad'Dib. No, Lizan Al Gaib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror, except for this one. This one leads to you. <laughs> What's in the spices? Are just turmeric? <laughs> what? Cool. I really want to see more of this. More Dune Awakening MMOs. coming at Gamescom ONL I in August. I love the world of Now Dune. it is time to see the announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. Brand new development studio. Lightspeed Studios. Oh, you can't remember it. Well, it is a pretty long movie. Very serious, so. The books are incredible. Oh, I've heard. I haven't read any of those. Maybe I should. This looks good. It's like cutscene right now, though. Like it. I like the art style. Very intense. Would you stop mowing? How much grass is out there? Don't understand. Maybe there is blowing the grass away, but still. It's been hours. Battle Aces. Okay. <laughs> to tell us more about so Battle distracted. Aces and show you the gameplay, here's David Kim from Uncapped Battle Games. Battle Aces. Yeah, what was the game though? Thanks, here, here. They'll teach us. They'll, yeah. So Battle Aces is the RTS game oh, for RTS. everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. Ah, we really okay. want to bring the core well, form of RTS to everybody. Coming. Kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. So Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. I love watching people play these games. We want to bring this type of very games. specific RTS lie. fun to players in two major ways. First, we want to amplify both the in and out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what makes unit decks very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS 
as much as possible so that players playing this game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. But isn't that what so, makes our if you want to learn more TS about Battle games, Aces, or TS or if you want the... to sign up for our beta test that's coming up very how, soon, how fast you can then click. please <laughs> what is it called? Uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. <laughs> Interesting. Yay, Thank no you. carpal tunnel! Yeah, you, my David. APM. How am I going to flex right. my APM? <laughs> Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination like for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, the finals, with its unparalleled destruction wrapped in the world's most deadly game show. Now, after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season starting next week on June 13th. Sharpen your katanas and welcome to season three of the finals. The finals. If they hit that reset it can take us anywhere. The finals? I don't know. Competitive shooter? Well, look at them. Kyoto! 1568! Oh, this is the new arena. Oh, I see. Uh, me either, Maria. <laughs> you played it when it came out first month? The finals yes. in Kyoto. All right. Please yeah. welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. Alan Wake. <laughs> the confidence. I think that's enough. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. You see, this is, cute. this is now the only way they let me come on stage to tell you something exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. What else do we have? Many of you have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves. Oh, DLC, right. With Alan Wake 2, so far, digital only, sadly missing. Well we are excited to announce physical <laughs> deluxe editions and physical collector's editions for Alan Wake 2 coming this fall. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Next, we promised you some expansion content for Alan Wake 2, right? I'm thrilled to introduce you all to Night Springs. It contains three episodes with three familiar, fan-favorite, playable characters in mysterious, terrifying, and quirky what-if scenarios. It was a chance for us to really go out there as if we already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable... Now? In less than 24 oh, hours. Oh, there you go. I think Tomorrow. that's the first time. Thank you. So this is the first game that's like now, out now kind of thing, sort of. Now, with this world Tomorrow. premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. He, def he does have... His accent is very... I think it's cute. <laughs> Night Springs, I don't know where he's from, though. A special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there, and yet always familiar to us. In Night Springs. I think it's finished. You're right. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. And I will come back for you, my love. Oh. And cut. Sean. 
Um, I'm really happy. <laughs> this is gonna get Wait, strange. he's in the game? I was the only one who oh, saved the writer and the very soul of literature. The Twilight Zone influence to that intro. Something was different. That lady is from Control. Oh, that lady from Control is in it. Yeah. The coffee. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a. Wait, is that? That's a real shotgun. <laughs> That's like me and Fallout. We I have a shotgun. <laughs> That's the only thing I use. Night yeah, it's out tomorrow. Cool. Cool. It does look really good. Through the endless tides Amazon. of time, they've come to these mythical shores, seeking mastery over death itself. Primal forces clash over the island's deepest secrets. Where is this an MMO? Is this like where heroes are born? It's not New World, is it? And demons are born. Oh, it is. is eternal. Oh, is that like a new expansion? October 15th. Okay, it is. That makes sense. It is Amazon. <laughs> That's right. New World, new World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. And speaking of Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago, but there's more. A sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Why do people choose to sleep? Yeah, I was about to say, say, get on TikTok. To wake up from the dream. <laughs> we have the same brain, Jared. You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. She's pretty. So it's about her? Oh, wait, or this guy? Oh, sorry, I have not played Honkai Star Rail. The nightmarish past will disperse Ooh. and fade away like bubbles in water and the future that you don't want to face will never come i don't i don't know these characters but i like them this is all the characters of the recent main story are you the well averse of honkai star rail ria Sleepy. Because in the end, we will wake from our dreams. <gasps> War dance. Rhea, pink hair girl. Cute. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is so different. Iron Mace presents. Ooh. Wait, is this dark? It's dark. Okay. <laughs> I was like, this looks familiar. I watch so many streamers play this game, and <laughs> it looks really fun, but intimidating. Um, is this like a new? Patch or or is this like coming out of was it in early access so this is like coming out of early access game is fun and stressful yeah so it's like you have like the walls are you know coming in kind of like um like hunger game style fortnite style you know and then 
And then you have to like fight with different, there's like magic and it can be a barbarian of sorts. It looks fun. And then there's like also bosses around the different maps. Okay, I remember it's some kind of like Cyclops or something. I didn't play, I just watched a lot of it. It looks kind of janky when you fight though. New patch and free to play announcement. Oh! Cool. Wait, it's free to play? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Huh. There you have it the Unforgiving Fantasy FPS Dungeon PvPVE Adventure PvP -PvE. Dark and Darker <laughs> is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this cool. weekend. All right. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket Hi. Upgrade. With Discover, oh, you don't you have go. to be a VIP to be treated like one. Uh -huh. All right, now wow, here's the announcement fancy. of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. I thought they had their own launcher. Oh, Dark and Darker? It was always on Steam. They did cause the lawsuit. Wait, what? Yeah, I know. They got upgraded. Fancy. You think this was shown previously? What, this game? But they got it resolved, is that why? Now the suit is over, I think, so they're back. Got it. I had no idea there was a lawsuit for Dark and Darker. Fuck suit. Kunitsugami. July 19, For hyper light breaker, <laughs> full campaign co op. late summer. Well, you's a cute little doggy, don't you know? Well, you's a naughty little doggy, don't you know? Well, you's a happy little doggy, don't you know? Well, you's a gutsy, fasty puppy. Can I wish this it again? Oh, what? Party know. animals? Sure. <laughs> or do you mean hyper light breaker? Probably that. I need a game for five players. My friend's group is five. We're suffering with the three to four games lately. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that eight game co-op game? <laughs> the creepy zombie one. You can play that. Eight though. What is the heck? <laughs> that game was cute. They had more to it? I don't remember Mario Kart. We know you may have heard the stories about the fine people here at M Corp. So we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at M Corp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great here. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody heart here attack. at M Corp I heart loves this town. Oh, we the think this zombie. town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. 
My on. wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town, all those lies. Mm. Everyone in M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. Ah! Come on, faster. Are they going for, like, the that's office vibe? This. That's a, That's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at M Corp, and we are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long time. What game is this? The mcorpwebsite.com? I know it's fun. All right, uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest, and now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Skate. I don't know what it Hey, Jeff, how you doing, Wait. bud? What? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's oh, bad. this is for Skate. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> what is going on? I know, right, Bear? <laughs> Free free alpha. Okay. This is pure Tim Robinson sketch work. Okay. Who's Tim Robinson? <laughs> oh, that's him. <laughs> that's his name. Oh. <laughs> I know my comedians. Skate. Console play testing coming this fall. <laughs> Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. That's right, I'm talking about Power World. <laughs> I mean, just look at the giant depresso. <laughs> Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Cheer up, buddy! Now, here is the first major <laughs> update announcement. A whole new island is coming. She's so cute. I can't bear. Oh, the Troyers and I Think You Should Leave on Netflix. I haven't seen those. Dedicated servers. Back to Power World. 27th of June? That was high on the Steam charts. Uh, congrats to uh, Power World on the new update. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy Ho and Anar Gilfeson from the Valorant dev team. Guys. Here you go, David. Time to play <laughs> Valorant now. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, everyone. Since 2020, we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the Valorant moment. The big plays and clutches you make while all <laughs> eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned fragging? their own Valorant moments on PC. What is that? And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. A whole new group of players. Tom really wants to get into this game. And my friends, we're going to teach him how to play. <laughs> I think he'd be good. 
maybe. He plays Fortnite sometimes. It sounds dirty. Your brother in law's gonna be so happy. So, our, so all of these are new characters? Didn't say that it. was Valorant's core tactical gameplay. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this year. Our limited beta starts June 14th, and you can sign up right now at beta.playvalorant.com. Interesting. We are so excited for your input to make sure that Valorant plays great on Free console. limited beta. And we hope to June see you soon. 14th. In the I think that's beta. what it said. But before we go, here's the head of Valorant Studio, Anna Donlin. It could be terrible on console too. Oh Thanks God. guys. Hey everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world, most recently to China, where I'm currently at Valorant Masters, one of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Cool. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so, so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Should I play Valorant chat? I heard they're doing a lot to help people that are really mean. Oh no, I forgot what they said, but I really liked what that lady was saying. I forgot what her job title was. Yes, do it. I'm not a CS type of player. <laughs> but... Yeah, there was a lot of discourse, you know, obviously. It's been an issue for a while where you're female. You just get totally bragged on by males playing the game and... Oh, it's Pokey! Uh, but they said that they're making efforts to fix all that. Hi, Kira! Not that that's the reason why I did, never played Valorant. It's just... I've never played it. That'd be so bad. Is it free to play? I think so. I believe so. It used to, but it's the most toxic game I've ever played. I've never played console it again. console with Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with us here it at SGM. Okay. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash Pass. Hi, Sign up for Dash Pass now for zero dollar delivery fees and get fifty percent off your next DoorDash order. 
Now, here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Cool. Well, next week, Yang is going to be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade. And we've got your exclusive first look. Check this out. Welcome to your eternal fate. Oh, Lance Slashblade? But he's a video game character. Why is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm in 100%. <laughs> we were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? What's this? Come on! No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! <laughs> The number one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new 2024 monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan the QR code now to get up to $300 Samsung credit when you purchase through June 17th. Plus about a chance that, to win $5,000 okay. Samsung credit. I like Inside Residence. Out. That's a good Summer movie. Game oh my god. 2024. Look at all of you cooped up watching video game announcements. And yes, Chicken does look a lot like Ken no. Jeong. And today. <laughs> Chicken is excited to share a new game that Chicken and Chicken's buddies oh, are no. in called Squad Busters. <laughs> you fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things. I look so unamused. Chicken I, has I, a big role. That's all around that this time. And I just spaced out. So is our big ad. <laughs> I spaced Squad out. Up, ooh, ooh. I mean, cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! What's I hope he on? got paid a lot to put on that suit. Who he probably you? did. Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. <laughs> We're here to make your life more fun. It's fun. I drink. I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. <laughs> Come on, get off. I am butt naked from the waist down. So get out of the fucking bed, dude. Get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because. Uh, uh, because and your sword plate time me about your sword plate. He is a bridge. He's that, one of the most uh, yeah. equitable people. Is that Chris, Hit Chris Hemsworth? Hemsworth? I was just about also to ask. Pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. I can't. Okay. It, it, it is. It is. I think you're qualified to be. Holy here. cow! What's their marketing budget? <laughs> Which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. Oh, oh, congratulations. Yes. What's the park oh, like? There's more where that came from. <laughs> I, I hope not. Guys, maybe everything is now. Is this squad. Clash Royale? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They make billions. Relax your bowels. Oh, okay. Right. Your mind. My, my video is going to be copyrighted. So Clowns. So long, Ed. Is a squat? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Pathetic. Impossible. <laughs> jinx. 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 No, you jinx. You it's supposed funny, to be though. <laughs> I'm here to appeal to a younger you audience. Know, want to go chop some trees, would you? What? I'd be delighted. <laughs> I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Aye, aye, aye. We are never leaving you. Good boy. Here. I came from inside me. <laughs> Do you want me to shut the door? Or Reminds me of like a Saturday Night Live skit. What? <laughs> what? 
What? All right. Please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage hey. Monster Hunter series oh, producer, Hunter. Mr. Riozo Tujimoro. Are we going to see more information about Monster Hunter Wild? Oh, thank you, Jay. Here we go. え、今日はですね、え、モンスターハンターワイルズの最新の映像を持ってまいりました。え、今回ですね、え、の、はですね、後半にですね、え、完全新規で、え、今回初お披露目のお方のモンスターも出てきてますので、そちらも注目していただけ
up there. Turn back before it's too late. Full horse. Show. Oh, is that when Tokyo Game Show is? Huh. That looks cool. so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy for joining yeah, us. Yeah, Joy. Thank you, Jeff. I had such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned because. Day of the Devs well, is coming up live right done. now on the stream, featuring an hour of indie game that reveals, including the next game what for Poppy, like for and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking SummerGameFest.com for like other the event most? streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yay. Remember, Day of the Devs starts right now. Good, good job, Joy. I'm not going to be watching Day of the Devs, but yay, that was so good.